What a way to spend Father's Day out here at the ballpark before the game today. Any of the players that wanted to play catch with their kids had a chance to do that. Before the team concludes a 10 day homestand by wrapping up their series against the Giants, many of the Dodgers players and coaches take a moment to spend time with their families on the field to celebrate Father's Day. A holiday that also carries special significance about 10 miles away from Chavez Ravine in the Williamson household. We met in college. We started off as friends and that friendship grew into a relationship. He was always super funny. He always had a smile on his face. It was after we had our first kid together. He joined the Navy. He did two deployments. And shortly after that second deployment is when he applied to be a recruiter here in Inglewood. December 8th, it was a regular day for us. He had applied for um, time off from work. So he was on his way to go get his stuff signed. And he never arrived at work. And I got a call from the hospital that something happened. And when I got there, they notified me that he was no longer here and that he had passed away at the scene. Terrence Williamson suffered fatal injuries after being involved in a motorcycle accident. He was just 36 years old. For a long time, I really didn't believe that, you know, that this had really happened. It's because of the kids that I'm even able to kind of comprehend what grief is. The kids have been my therapy because they forced me to deal with myself and my, my own feelings. My breakdown moment was when the oldest of the four, Gabriel, when he kept saying, is he gonna be okay? And I had to keep telling him, no, he's, He's not here. So um, we'll see him again, but he's not here, you know? And um, that was hard. That was probably the hardest thing to do. The Dodger organization heard about the Williamson story and wanted to help, hoping that a surprise visit by a pair of players could help lift the spirits of the three Williamson children. They lost their dad and, you know, I, for me especially, uh, dealing with some some stuff two years ago with my dad, uh, it was really hard for me. And I was, uh, you can say, I was a grown man. But these are kids we're talking about. You know, these are kids that are going to spend their their entire lives without their their father. It's uh, it's it's never easy, especially when you're at such a young age where you need a father figure really bad. What's up, guys? How are you? Nice to meet you. When they saw that it was the Dodgers, they were just so stunned. They were shy. They didn't have anything to say. How are you guys doing? Oh, you guys are looking very excited and shy now. <laughs> to see uh, their faces, their eyes glowing, a huge smile on their faces to when they realized that, you know, we were we were Dodgers and that we were at their house. We we brought some gifts for you guys. It says, in memory of Terrence Williamson, United States Navy. Dodger Louisville saw your bat for you. Yeah, look at that. The more that the players just kind of interacted with them, it was kind of like they just broke the ice, just giving them hugs and just talking to them and put a hat on them and put the jersey on them. And I mean, next thing you know, they were just sharing all these moments. They're a little stiff when the jerseys are new, so. Yeah. It's just special, very, very special. Boom, perfect. Hey, looking good, guys. Looking official. Oh, man. You guys are looking good. We're going to the backyard. Oh, my God. All right, let's go to the backyard. Oh, Who wants to hit first? Yeah, you do right there. Nice. Hey, she's hitting them <laughs> really hard. I'm going to need a face mask. Oh. Swing hard. Oh. Yeah. Over. Sorry about it. After we hit with them and hung out, they started showing us the family photos of them when they were younger with their father. High five. Dude, you're a stud. What is this? Thank you. Oh, my goodness. The kids started showing us pictures of their dad uh, in uniform uh, when they were born, when they were little. 
It was something, you know, uh, those three kids. That's very sad, and you don't wish upon anybody, uh, especially for me, uh, knowing how special my dad is to me. Uh, I know how, how much their dad means to them. I'm sure daddy's very proud of you guys. Honestly, that was, you know, pretty emotional for me, and I think for the rest of the family, uh, how open they were about it, and clearly how much they, they missed their dad. And stuff. This one is Daddy, me, Justin, and Jordan. Terrence was my best friend, and just the fact of losing my best friend is probably the hardest part of um, this process. The, the fact that I feel him in spirit, and I could still talk to him, but he can't talk back to me and a lot of funny things that are occurring. I don't get a chance to have that partner to laugh with. He's not there, he's, he's missing. It's like missing a place at a table and, and you just keep setting it for them and they just can't show up anymore. You wanna keep this safe? Yeah, She's a true Thank hero. You know. Uh, you know, obviously losing her husband when uh, she's got three little kids is uh, no easy task and She's done one heck of a job. Those are three amazing kids, uh, really good kids. Not only did they come here, but they spent real time with them. They made them feel special and uh, uh, let them know that they were not forgotten. Remember? Remember. <laughs> Truly special moment to, to, to put, be able to put a, a smile on, on, on those kids' faces and something that I don't take for granted. And that's priceless. There's nothing that you could say. It's the words thank you are just never big enough for something like that, especially for kids who would never forget that. <laughs>